so I thought I'd share a little Friday morning randomness. I uh, walked out to the car this morning and we live in like a townhome community and my neighbor, not the one next door, but the one right beside her, which, you know, they're all really close together, was in her yard in like a, I guess a spot where there was no grass, like it's kind of just dirt right there. And she was walking around digging her like heels, the heels of her stilettos into the ground. Like she was aerating, I'm, I'm thinking like, was she trying to aerate the, the soil to get, to, to, I don't know, but it was so incredibly awkward that I didn't even say good morning or hello or anything because it was like, she was like hunkered down. Like she was really, she was really into it and she had her little dog out there. Um, two, she wasn't really walking the dog though. She was just walking around by herself, you know, digging her heels into the, digging her heels into the dirt. It was really bizarre. Well, this morning is not starting off very good. I drove all the way, you know, down the road and then started to panic because I thought that there was a possibility that I didn't cut my coffee pot off this morning <clears throat> when I uh, left. And I don't know, I'm just anal about that stuff. Like it freaks me out. Like I'm always so concerned. I guess I should put on my seatbelt. <clears throat> I'm always so concerned that, you know, I left something on like, you know, like one of my hair tools in the morning or like the iron or the coffee pot or something and it's just that kind of stuff just like makes me really nervous so I've always got to like check and double check every morning that everything is like cut off and you know I just had like that little piece of doubt <laughs> this morning and so I was just like it's not worth risking it I'll just be a little bit behind but you know I guess better safe than sorry but I don't know if anybody else is like that but I just, I, I don't know, the thought of just leaving appliances on really, really scares me. Like, even the dryer, like, I do not leave the dryer on when we leave to go somewhere. Like, I have got to turn it off. I don't, I don't even care if I have a load of wet clothes in there that has to be redried or anything. I don't care because it's just, I don't know, there's like all the lint with the dryers and stuff. It can, it can really, um, I think catch fire pretty quick. I even heard... Uh, one time that I, I do one one the only exception I make is that I will like turn on the dishwasher and leave the house But I even heard one time that someone said that their dishwasher caught on fire I don't know if they have like an old dishwasher or something that is possible, but anyway um, That's all for now Home from work and just been working on some stuff on the computer and talking to my brother on the phone I got home from work early today so that was awesome and now I just finished up a chai chai tea latte I'm gonna show this um, K cup I got I got it in a sample pack like this K cup and it's chai tea latte and it, I don't know why I haven't tried these before but it's used, so I don't really know how good that's gonna look, but I'll show you. So here it is, Cafe Escapes Chai Latte. This was really good. I think I'm gonna buy like a box of these. Um, I, I typically just get, I'll show the normal kind that I get. So this is what I've been uh, loving recently. This is the Donut Shop, uh, nutty caramel um, and I really like this one because I can drink it black so basically I, I really like all the donut shop um, K cups but I, this one's my favorite because I don't need any kind of creamer or sugar or anything it's really flavorful on its own um, if you haven't tried it I do recommend this one a lot um, it's been good also also also, I like this one. This is the original donut shop coffee. This one's really good, too. I, I still want to try some more flavors. I like this one. I do like a little bit of creamer or uh, stevia when I have this one. 
but the, the caramel one is my favorite so far. Look at this little baby doll. Hey, Days. This is her favorite little spot downstairs in the main um, area of the house. We have this little poof that goes with this chair. And she's just, at, like, since day one that we've had it, she just hops right up on that little poof. She just loves it. And she sits right in the middle like she's posing for a picture. Hey, Days. Hey. Daisy. What you think? Okay, she's really not in the mood. Hey, Lil. Hey, Lily. The lighting's not very good. I can't really see you very good, honey. How's my sweet girl? Her good? Okay. I think I might put a load of laundry in upstairs. And I just did a little cleaning up downstairs. I think once Chad gets home from work, he's kind of running late today, but I think as soon as Chad gets home that um, we might go shopping. I've been in the market for a new like clutch style purse, so I'm going to convince Chad to take me tonight so that I can go get one. So I'm excited about that. Where are we going? I don't know where we're going. No, you know where we're going. We're going to the mall. And what are we getting? You only know where we're getting. Oh, it's gonna be a surprise. No, you know, but I think I'd like to go to Macy's first, okay? And then after that, I don't know. And it's seven o'clock, so we should probably eat. We never go is P.F. Chang's over there. We never eat there. Ooh, what about Marlowe's? Sounds good. Those, um, had a nice conversation with Larry today. He told me that, um, I'm told <laughs> Yeah, Miss Alabama. He said, You're gonna be the next Miss Alabama. Said, he kept. He said like four times. He said, "Tell your main man that I said hello." B.S. Larry is our neighbor who lives across the street from us. He's probably how old do you think he is? Seventies, mid seventies. And his favorite uh, summer, spring, and summer activity is to sit in his driveway in a lawn chair with no shirt, totally oiled up. I mean, greased up and like bake in the sun and he loves to talk to Chad and I about um, Alabama football he's a big Alabama football fan like we are and uh, it's just hilarious because we always see him outside and you know today he was oiled up when I saw him greased up and <laughs> telling me that uh, I should be the next Miss Alabama so he's, he's a nice guy though he's a really nice guy Okay, we're leaving the mall now. That was probably the shortest mall trip I've ever done. When I shop with Chad, it's uh, usually more business than pleasure, but that's okay, because at least I, I kind of knew pretty much what I wanted. Um, and so I, we ended up going to two stores. I, st I started out going to Macy's. What I was looking for was like a little, I've been looking, I've been in the market for a little while for like a, a wallet on a chain because I wanted something that was small enough that I could carry with me on the weekends, but I also wanted to, like, I don't know, it's a complicated st story. I also, what is this car doing? Oh my gosh, where's he going? He clearly doesn't know. Okay. Well, so basically I wanted something that I could take to work with me but I also wanted a small purse and I decided on a wallet on a chain because I thought this will be perfect because I can just take the straps off of it and put it in my my purse as a wallet when I want to but I can also wear it as a little crossbody too like when I go out for lunch um, or am on the weekends or whatever because I just noticed that with my big bag like I love it so much but 
by the time that the weekend comes, it's like, I just don't want it. I just want something that'll carry my phone, you know, some lip gloss, some chapstick, and, um, like, keys, I guess, and, and money, and my cards. So, I feel like I've finally solved that problem. I got the Michael Kors, um... I think Jet Set Wallet on a Chain, and it's like the new, one of their new styles that is a little bit more square than like a typical wallet, but I think it's going to be really perfect. So I'll probably show that at some point later on, but I'm really happy with it. I went down to the Michael Kors store too, and we tried on a couple down there as well, but ended up going back to Macy's because they had the right color that I wanted. So really excited about that new purchase. And now we're about to head to dinner. We're looking to find a parking place. Um, going to the Cheesecake Factory. We're gonna attempt to go to the Cheesecake Factory. I know that, I mean, obviously we're not taking reservations. Look at this parking spot, awesome. I know they don't take reservations, so hopefully it won't be too crowded and we can get right in. Do you have anything you wanna say about dinner? Okay. right now just hanging out well I'm hanging out Chad's cleaning but we're in Alabama here for Shannon's birthday and uh, which is um, Chad's sister and just, just hanging out you know he's doing a great job he's doing a great job it's, it's great in here and uh, I'm just taking it easy I got her gift wrapped up in the back and it's ready to go now so we're just doing that he'll probably get to the vacuum here pretty soon I actually I didn't realize he was gonna try to do such a thorough cleaning when we first got here but okay I'm not complaining so that's it for me